Well, this time we're going to be putting the glass on the side. We just finished up the bottom fiberglass, a long day of that, you know, yesterday. And here we are, we're going to go ahead and spend all day today running off the sides here. So it's pretty straightforward. You know, this is the next day after we did the bottom. So I've still got that bottom glass there where it, where it laid over the chines and where it will actually double up on the chines. It, it, some of it got a little proud of the side, so I just got my little scraper, got a razor knife there, and I'm just trying to trim off all of that like green fiberglass there so, so that, that when that fiberglass comes up from the side of the hole and rolls onto that chine, it doesn't poke it out or anything so it can lay in there nice and flat. Even trying to maybe cut it back on a little bit of a bevel. And there it is, I got my scraper. I had already pulled some thickened epoxy right there in that little bitty bow pointed section. And uh, from the day before, it was just a little more rigid than I like or than I would prefer. I wanna make sure this stuff lays down nice and pretty. So I actually just take my little scraper, come back in there, scrape all that off. And then uh, to make sure that I have a clean surface, I got a little brush and you know, the important part right now is I gotta get the radio working. So being on time lapse, I can run the radio, you know, it's what I did all day long. So that's what I'm doing here, as you can see, you know, some of that stuff as it comes off kind of sticks to the side of the boat. And so I'm just trying to clean the surface, make sure everything's good to go. You know, all of that wet, wet stuff you see there is still soft. It hadn't, it hadn't totally cured and kicked off. You could see this is a pretty good angle. You can see the wet out, you know, I feel like the bottom got wet out pretty nice. Um, it's odd that in some of the pictures, uh, I guess the angle or whatever, it looks a lot different than it does um, in person and certainly um, in real life or, or from this a uh, little bit higher camera. And I got one little piece there that just, just you know, wasn't, you can see how soft all that stuff kind of is. And I'm just trying to trim some little uh, strands or whatever that may be sticking up. Honestly, I should have left all that alone. Um, and just cleaned it up with fairing compound, but uh, I didn't didn't know that. So here it is. I got a little thickened epoxy. I'm gonna put that front little piece down, and then uh, put some right there on the bow. I'll also come back in the stern, and in the transom there, where that where the side glass turns onto the transom, I'll actually put some thickened epoxy on each side of that. So when that stuff turns, it gets it fills all that void, kind of keeps keeps to make helps to make that corner lay down nice and clean no air pockets or anything so you know here it is uh i got my my roller and all and i'm gonna just lay in a little thin thin layer of uh epoxy uh on here you can see i'm just gonna cover the whole boat uh i actually started this with one of my little uh quarter inch nap rollers laying this stuff out and it and it i don't know i started off i liked them a lot and for whatever reason, I don't know if it's because they're breaking down or uh, the resin's getting hard. I've actually, I find myself going back to that foam roller, which I think gives, it's a little more, uh, it's got a little more cushion to it and it's a little more firm. So it helps to kind of lay that fiberglass flat. So that's, that's kind of, I, I find myself going back to it. And even this day, I mean, this was a long day. You can see it's fairly early in the morning. I would say it's 10 -ish here and it's going to be dark by the time i finish these two sides doing it all by myself you know we're gonna we're gonna run through it here fairly quick on this time lapse even though you know this is still 15 18 minute um, time lapse shortened condensed down into but you know here it is i'm laying this glass out and you'll see me i'm just trying to get it kind of spread out and i'll go back it's real easy you can see right there on the very point you can see that line my reference point so I have lines here, every foot I've got a reference mark on the bottom of the hull that I put when I fit all this stuff. And then, so all I'm trying to do is line that stuff up and then I push the glass down. But pulling it, you know, not pulling it, but kind of just laying it out from the transom to the bow, you'll see that I get that line and it lines up perfect. So now I don't have to worry about the orientation of that fiberglass, it's all pretty much exactly where it's supposed to be and now all I, could, I have to worry about is going in here and wetting this stuff out now you'll see and there I, there I went I went back to my little foam rollers um, and this 1208 glass on the side it's pretty it, it seems a lot thinner than the 1808 but the truth be told you just have to put the epoxy to it and uh, 
you'll see eventually what I wind up doing is I just I wind up just pouring the epoxy on it and either spreading it with a foam roller and letting it just kind of soak from the top to the bottom or I actually got what worked best is using that spreader and then just kind of working it back up the hill and giving it time to just soak in and then I just kind of it's almost like squeegee it flat let it sit for a while and then I'd come back put that little yellow uh, scraper or whatever body filler I don't whatever you want to call it um, and it actually as you would pull it you'd pull it down the fiberglass you'd hear all the air bubbles popping so it was almost like a squeegee is how it acted but you know gonna run through this at some point here shortly I'll probably get about halfway here um, this camera for whatever reason turns off trips out freaks out something so when that happens, I'm gonna run through it a little faster. So you only get to see about half of this side. Um, but I, we, I, just to warn you, we'll pick up and we get we get the whole other side. But um, process pretty simple. There you can see where I'm just kind of pouring that epoxy on the side of the boat and using that little spreader there, um, body filler spreader or whatever it is. I don't know. I bought a, bought like a 20 pack of them. And uh, honestly, if you clean them, you know, take some. I used denatured alcohol or uh, distilled vinegar. Vinegar actually works good and it's cheap. Um, and you just clean these things up afterwards. You you can get you know multiple uses out of them. So the real struggle of this whole day was trying to get that that fiberglass to lay over that chine. And I don't know if it's just because it was such a short piece of glass that went on to that chime but it kept kind of wanting to pull up on me so I just you'll see that I work it and work it and work it you know here it is I'm spread I'll spread the resin out and I'll come back and foam roll it and I'll you know as I move forward I'll go all the way back to the back and get the ridge roller there and roll it out but I really found that because this is pretty much flat plywood man that that uh that yellow spatula right here I'm using, it seemed to work really, really well. And, and you can see how I'm moving it sideways there. And it kind of gets any of that excess resin out because I'm, I'm kind of flooding it here just to make sure that I get, good, get it good and wet out. And then I just use that thing like a squeegee. You know, not, not tremendously strong pressure, but just enough pressure to, to kind of to make sure that it lays down, get all the air bubbles out. And like I said, you can just hear them popping. It you know, sounds like popcorn going off. Once again, I, I was mixing epoxy here in relatively small batches. I'm still only mixing probably about 26 ounces at a time. Uh, and this is actually a three to one mix and uh, this is a little section where I run through pretty fast So it's, it's about over so you kind of miss that front front half there But uh, should, should be pretty fast and here it is you can see I'm getting getting the camera back on got my My Bucky's t-shirt my daughter gave me for Christmas or my wife whichever one don't want to make the other one mad but uh, You know here it is just go back and roll it, roll it. You know, I, I rolled all of this. And it's like I said, I worked on these chines and you, you know, you'll see I'm, I'm working on them now and I'll come back and I'll hit them again after I finish the other side. Just, I, I'm really worried trying to make sure that stuff lays down. And as that epoxy starts to get tacky, uh, it, it does help it. So I'm just, uh, find out working it. And once again, in the end, I found what worked best was the little yellow spreader. Um, I could kind of put it on an angle from the top um, that would kind of push the epoxy to the edge and then I'd get on the other side and angle it again and I could I could just lay that stuff back in there. It's kind of hard to describe. I hope to show that better when I get to the fairing when I'm working with these sharp edges. I saw something that I think I'm going to use and I started it but um, I think it'll show more the purpose of uh, how to use that spreader on an angle and how to move that material where you want it uh, as, you're, as you're trying to get stuff to lay flat. So here it is. I'm about to start on the other side. Once again, just wetting it all out, rolling over it again. I'd already rolled on a base coat, but I'm just trying to hit it again here uh, so that it maybe it'll make it a little bit easier. And once again, I've got all my reference marks. It's hard to see them. You can't see them here. But I'm just kind of getting it stretched out right here. Um, I'll go ahead and say I don't have any idea why I have that big old piece laying over here. I, I should have masked it up with the other side and had it more square. But I figured, well, I must have done it for a reason, so I left it. 
Um, I thought both sides were the same. Obviously, I can't see it right now, but anyway, I think that was just that's just something I kind of screwed up that I'm gonna have to fair out or I'll sand out or something. I don't know. But uh, once again, I have all my reference marks on this glass when I laid it out. Now I'm just getting that transom right. Um, and I've got that thickened epoxy laying right there on that corner, on that edge. And so you can see it almost pushing through that glass. So if you, if you have those sharp corners and you put a little bit of that, I say thickened epoxy, it's not super thick. But you put it on there and then you kind of let that glass push that, and it'll actually get into the glass and help to hold it down. And you can see here just trying to roll that epoxy on i mean it just it takes a lot you just have to you just got to put a lot of epoxy on it and what i find is just put a lot of it on there let it soak in and once it's soaked in just start moving it in front of you you know moving it behind spreading it out and you'll see it works out pretty good you're going to get a pretty good idea of me working with that spreader here in just a second So yeah, here you can see I'm just taking that spreader and you can see as I put a little pressure on it, a little forward pressure like that, it pushes all the air bubbles, kind of pops all those and it really looks like I'm pushing hard here, but I'm not. Uh, just adding a little bit of pressure. Here you can see how it starts to squeeze out that extra epoxy and I'm able to just kind of move it down and move it forward. And I'm um, really, you know, unfortunately now I'm almost about three quarters of the way done with this day and I'm, I'm about to catch my stride and really figure out how to move this thing along. And that is take that, take my little uh, jug of epoxy there, pour it on, use the spreader, let it soak in. And I kind of work it with the spreader more and then come back with the roller um, just to try and help spread it out, help it wet out. And once again, that roller being soft, it kind of helps to put some pressure on it to make sure that, you know, it's all, it's all wet out and the epoxy spread out. You don't have any, you know really really wet spots or dry spots it just helps to spread it out i think the spreader does that too but I, you know i don't know just rolling this stuff out i feel like i roll it 10 times more than i should because i'm worried that it's not going to lay down flat or i'm going to have air under it or you know i might be somebody like kyle and I, you know i'd say that jokingly kyle no offense dude um but i'm you know i don't want those problems um i'm doing all i can to keep those problems i'm gonna have problems of my own um I don't need any that I've seen other people make. So, you know, just steady moving along here. Once again, you can see from this angle, you know, it really, really looks wet out. It's nice. And you'll see in some of the pictures later that I mean, it just, it looks like it's got air bubbles everywhere. Um, but it, it really does look good. Like this is a, a fairly good representation. You can see the bottom that we just did earlier. It all looks pretty wet out. It's all flat, it's transparent, it looks good. I mean, by and large, by the time I got done, I was real happy with the way it looked, you know, um, having just done it. So here it is, same old thing. You'll just, you can keep watching me do this and if I see anything different, I'll tell you, but all we're doing is we're gonna wet it out and we're gonna roll it and probably roll it some more and, you know, roll it again and then roll it some more and then get the other roller and use that roller and then um, maybe roll it one more time and then I get everything cleaned up and you won't believe what I do after I get everything cleaned up. Um, you just won't believe it. So this is a pretty good example here of how you saw me. I just take and, you know, it's easier when you get towards the front of the boat where it's not as steep you know it's not as straight up and down is you just you know pour that epoxy on that glass use that little roller and and the spreader just works so much better that you just uh spread it and this is what i was talking about earlier how to how to use that spreader on an angle uh, you know i kind of kind of make it where it'll push the epoxy right off of that edge and then uh, you know from the top and then come back and where it rolls it it rolls it back up onto the top. So you make sure that you're keeping that, that edge right there nice and wet. And then I come back and roll all, you know, any of that excess that came out. Just kind of roll it and spread it. And, you know, here I'm trying to put a little pressure on the roller to keep that edge nice and tight. And 
you know also once you get way up in the on, in the bow of this thing that that shine's falling off pretty good you can just put that epoxy on there and it'll kind of just work its way down by gravity and then you just come back and roll it out all worked out pretty good so you know this is a, it's a learning experience i've never done this before so you know i'm i'm happy with it once again here I'm, all I'm doing is spreading and you know you can hear those little bubbles coming out like you know Rice Krispies or whatever so it's a pretty easy process from here on out because of course I'm almost done you know once again this this odd little piece of fiberglass that's going across this bow here it looks it looks wet I mean it looks like it's not wet out I'm, I'm gonna put a lot more epoxy on it here you can see um, but, but pay attention to how the pictures look later and it's just that much different than what this view looks like and, and what it looks like in purpose. I mean in person, it actually, uh, it all went out fine. It's all transparent and I'm, I'm, and I'm pretty happy with it. that little box you know like right over my head right there it's got the little orange glow that's actually a, a, what I call it's a little heater box um, just a wooden box it's got a, a regular I guess you'd call it an incandescent light bulb in it maybe like a hundred watt light bulb in it and so when it's really really cool I can take my epoxy and put it in that box and it'll you know it'll get it up to about 70 degrees or so so that it mixes and flows and works uh, a whole lot better so that's I've had that from when I used to build fishing lures I used to build marlin fishing lures and still do from time to time but that's what I do is you can see that one jug of epoxy sitting in it but if you're curious that's what that is so now day's kind of over with I gotta you know gotta get shut down and uh, you'll see me here breaking the tent down closing it back up and uh, you know uh, what happens next in the next video is something that I really wasn't expecting I hadn't encountered yet on this build but uh, was able to get it straightened out once I figured out what happened but uh, you know that's uh, once again I wanted to show the benefit of having my little roll in the epoxy table there I can I roll it around and get it out of my way or put it out there where, where it works better I can reach it um, especially here where I had to get on you know kind of on my knees the whole time working around this thing but you know once again we're still just building a you know, little old tent is all it is in the backyard so man if I can do it here you know anybody can it's working out so we're gonna we're gonna keep going forward and like I said you wouldn't believe what I did after I got everything cleaned up I went over it and started rolling on it again so We'll see what happens next time. We're we working on it. It's gotten a lot slower with work and everything, but we're steady making progress. So we'll see y'all next time around. Check out our other stuff and make sure you subscribe if you hadn't yet.